you have packed for a trip and you feel like you haven't packed like a grandma, you did not pack right. Sorry, I'm just gonna say, you did not pack right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This shit will never get old, me speaking to myself. It's really hard to project my actual personality on camera because it kind of feels weird talking to myself, but I'm gonna do my best and I think with time we're gonna improve, okay? So without further ado, let's go to the actual purpose of this video today. So it's my first video back, not probably the second one. No, it's my second video back. The last one was a trip to Dallas. Check it out. I'll place the link down below if you didn't check it out. So for today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to Hawaii, baby. So I'm excited. I cannot wait to be there. I cannot wait to... Eh. You got that? You got that? You got that? You get the vibes. You get the vibes. So I'm excited to go to Hawaii, but before we go to Hawaii, let's get a few things clear. Do not be one of those people. Do not be one of those friends. Do not be one of those family members that comes to the other person's room every morning. Excuse me? Do you have toothpaste? Excuse me? Do you have an extra toothbrush? Excuse me? Do you have... It needs to stop you need to pack like a pro we do not need that it's a pet peeve of mine not that I'm selfish I will give it to you but you need that if you have packed for a trip and you feel like you haven't packed like a grandma you did not pack right sorry I'm just gonna say you did not pack right because the right way to travel is if you travel like a grandma because guess what everything comes in handy and all those who complain about you have so much stuff blah 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 they're the ones who end up benefiting the most so without further ado let me first start with the outfits and you probably have already seen the outfits in my ig so i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna walk through the thought process of like what inspired me to get a specific outfit versus the other and if i remember where i bought some of them i will link them down below and if i don't then you just gotta do what you gotta do people you just gotta do what you gotta do but the whole point is gonna be just like giving you an idea of like how to like the thought process during the packing situation ship you know so first things first what are these pjs you need your PJs. This might sound weird, this might sound bougie, but it is what it is. You need your PJ. Those hotel robes are not pajamas. Those hotel robes are just for vibes, at the balcony, fake sipping coffee. That's about it, people, but not for sleeping. So you need your pajamas. And the second thing is your travel wear. You probably have seen this already but you need comfy travel wear you need comfy travel wear. i repeat you need comfy travel wear so i always make sure i have and also people who travel without good travel wear like i get it right now everybody's on their own wave but you do not know who you're gonna meet at the airport sister brother especially if you bought basic economy every time you don't want to go to the airport looking whack because once you're walking to seat number 40D, the ones in seat number one and two, in case they're single, they'll be checking you out. They'll be thinking, I need to get her out of basic economy and send her up here. But if you're looking like, you know, how will you motivate them? How? How? Okay, that's my rant about comfortable, but elegant, but good looking airport where you need to look good at the airport. There is no such thing as looking good at uh, not looking good at the airport but there is such a th thing as getting overdressed at the airport that's also another problem so i did not say get overdressed i said look good at the airport and they are, i have moment of confession i used to be one of those people who also travel like a mad woman not with a bonnet though i didn't get to that level but i used but one of my friends checked me and i acted like i didn't hear it but i did hear it she was like you need to look good when you travel eh? Eh? This cabin. <laughs> she checked me, so I got checked, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna step it up, and I did, and now we travel well. We travel well, people. Okay, 
back to the clothes so for night one since it was like it's just arriving i didn't know the vibe it's never like since it's a tropical vacation since it's a tropical vacation it's like booty shorts are always like a safe booty shorts are like a basic shirt are always like a safe thing to wear in the first like a first day just trying to feel the vibe eh? trying to understand what the vibe is like am i wearing bum out bikinis am i wearing grandma bikinis you know like you feel the vibe of the area that you're in because the one thing that you should people should learn to be sensitive about when traveling is consider the locals because some different areas have different cultures so maybe just wearing something a little bit uh, not the reserve reserve but but maybe just wearing something that's a little bit on the media median side so like not too extreme not too like not too extreme to both ends just like in the median then once you feel the vibe then you can decide to you know wear like how you wear like you know okay also the second category is for outfits so like you have oops i just i just dropped my bag sorry we're back about the first outfit i hope you go what i was trying to put down and you don't have to wear booty shorts this is like a maxi dress it's one of my favorite maxi dresses but it's also like tropical vibes so like if you're not like a booty shirt kind of person you can you, you know just be like vibrant because hey it's a tropical area okay next swimsuits need i say more need i say more like if you're traveling to a tropical area by the beach, sipping margaritas, drinking pina coladas. Hey, you do not want to be wearing some boxers. Excuse me, I'm sorry, that's that shit ain't cute. You need to have proper swimwear, and if you prefer to be a little bit on the decent side, get a decent cover up. I got this from Matt Collection. Yes, they're all from Matt Collection, they have really good flash shells, so get into it people and then uh, this is what I call the repeated clothes category this is when you already got like your insta photos for the day because yes we go to vac on vacation to relax but let's 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 not pretend that we also don't do it for the gram so if you already got your picture for the gram if you already got a picture for the day uh-huh you know the vibes so if you already got your picture for the day this is where you carry your extra outfits for the repeated outfits moments where it's like you wore this outfit probably at another vacation in a different area and you really liked how it looked on you you gotta repeat that because guess what people in that hotel do not know you people in that hotel to people in that hotel that outfit is new so if you felt like you looked real good if you got so many compliments from that it does not hurt to repeat it you know you do not know who it's gonna check it out <laughs> anyways and the next category in the thought process is the um, what do I call this the exploration category you don't want to be walking around in some gens uh, as if you're going to the mall no you wanna you are in vacation so play the part to be in the present by that like it, don't don't feel shy to look like an actual tourist because the whole point of you spending that much money being there is being a tourist so be a tourist like walk around and sometimes if locals notice the locals notice tourists and they're usually very helpful and very kind and they give you recommendations of good things so i really think you should uh, like you should dress the part and be an actual tourist by that i mean dress to freaking impress because you're gonna need those memories okay so that being said so this is more like I'm going to explore like the attractions around this area I'm going to see what's up there maybe post a little bit on Instagram worthy locations um, uh-huh 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 that being said you need a statement a statement outfit for me this is my statement outfit this is my statement outfit As you can already see from the clips that I'll be inserting, you already know this shit looked good on me. And I don't know, this palazzo pants you can get 
about any store right now but i got this in a local boutique back in when i used to stay in pittsburgh so maybe you might want to check it out once you're there but i i got the, i got the statement outfit a local boutique back in pittsburgh but you can probably go in a boutique near your town if there are no boutiques you can just shop online right now there's so many shopping options online and last but not least you need a gym ish outfit and this is not for traveling people don't get don't get me don't get things twisted this is not for traveling you don't know you don't know where you're gonna go or maybe you do know where you're gonna go but sometimes they're like those off the moment blood rush activities once you are going through the blood rush in the moment activities some of them are very like athletic so you want to pack something like that's like a little bit more like the workout side so that you have an option to do that as for me I'm oh, Hawaii is famous for surfing and like water activities so I'm thinking of going for like a surfing class but if I don't do that it's gonna come back and like unworn so there is no problem not wearing something but it's a big problem if you didn't you did not have it in the first place so it's never too bad to overpack okay it's just bad to underpack because sometimes you might go there you're on a budget and things are overpriced you can no longer buy something so like you're stuck you're stuck that being said let's skip into the next category and that is accessories and all of the other shebang so this second part is still around the hawaii trip but you can apply it based on the, on the vacation you're going be it a beach vacation a mountain vacation whatever you know what i mean it's it's a matter of application the whole point of the video is for it to be applicable to like any scenario you just gonna go with me just work with me a little bit so first things first you need your statement pieces you need your statement pieces because that is what is gonna make or break the trip okay that is what's gonna make or break the trip so here I have my booty bag I'm gonna go over accessories from like the statement pieces to some ra some random things that you don't think you might need but you will need okay so First things first, as I said, first statement pieces. I mean, come on. Picture me in this Fenty Beauty inspired glass. Notice how I said inspired? It's giving Fenty vibes, even though it's not Fenty. <laughs> so, if you cannot afford it yet, you just gotta work with what you have so that once you can afford it you know what to get what looks good on you you feel me because there's no point of wearing something super expensive and it looks ugly on you so you kind of need to experiment and while you're working on that getting up that financial ladder you gotta work with what you have there's no point in breaking your bank trying to have a statement if you cannot afford it so go for what you can afford I bought these glasses in the same boutique, I bought my palazzo pants. It's called Shop by London. It's in Pittsburgh. She has really good stuff. So in case you're in Pittsburgh, check that part. Out. Check that place out. I think she has branches in Ohio as well, in Columbus. Then the bag, the bag. This bag is giving designer. This bag is given custom made. This bag is given 3K kind of woman. But no baby this bag is from marshall's i got this from marshall's it's it's not that expensive to look expensive when you think about it you just gotta be coordinated okay coordinated so that's the bad part then of course it's a beach vacation what's a beach vacation without a hat so for this trip i chose to go with an exaggerated hat because I haven't gone to a beach vacation in a minute, so I needed to go all out. And I mean, it's Hawaii. Like, what? What did you did you expect anything less? Of course not. So here we go. Okay, you probably don't want to wear the hat with the glasses because it's, it's already blocking a lot of shade away. No pun intended. I mean, come on. 
I mean, come on, baby, baby, I'm feeling this, okay, I, I kind of like these glasses over here, it's giving me the vibe of today's subject, which is accessories, so I'm going to leave them here, then we're going to carry on with the other things. For so this is applicable to both genders but since I'm a woman some tools might just be for women but men can work with like what makes sense on their side and like make it work okay and this is under the assumption that you've already waxed you don't need to be carrying a shaver but in case you didn't then you probably need to carry a shaver but TMI let's get to the actual part a steamer you need a steamer. Yes, hotels have irons, but sometimes, especially beach vacation outfits that are usually like lights, and you don't want to ruin your outfit. You don't want to be frowny for the rest of the trip because you ruined your outfit with an iron. And sometimes you don't know those irons in hotel rooms are very poor quality. You want to carry your own steamer. And I know this is very big. I am still looking for a smaller steamer that's going to fit my needs. So if anybody knows a good steamer, you can recommend one for me, please. But until I get a tiny steamer for travel, this is going to have to do. My home steamer is going to have to do. And this works because I'm already i already carrying a check bag anyway, so it works. Second thing, an iron for here, you know. So this is like a combing iron and this is like a round iron for like, you know, redefining your calls and stuff. So for men, I guess that would be like the sponge brushes or whatever I, I don't know honestly i don't know the accessories but you get the point and moisturizers for hair combs edge control right combs again and that's about it that's about it people. that's about it that's about it with the hair accessories hair accessories and things to take care of clothes need too much do they just an iron and it already looks like a million bucks so aside from the statement pouch you probably need like a tiny pouch to carry around because you don't want to be carrying heavier bag all the time so you might want to like have something small just to carry stuff around in case you don't want to always be walking in the statement bag all the time i mean who doesn't want to walk in a statement bag all the time maybe maybe may in okay the point is in case you need in case you need like something smaller for like the night or whatever you need a smaller bag then correct footwear so i'm going to the beach so these slippers will have to do i bought mine at michael course but you can find any kind of slippers honestly most people buy havaianas but me havaianas bringing me brings me showering vibes like so like it's giving i'm going to the bathroom to shower but this ones they're waterproof they're really nice and they have like a leather spongy base for like comfort in walking so you can walk a long distance with this so i recommend correct footwear so now this is what this is what i meant by application so if you're going on a beach vacation obviously um, obviously this makes sense but if you're going on a mountain vacation this is where the hiking boots comes the comfortable like shoes that will fit maybe going in water which is like water shoes i don't know so it's like you get the point the point is you need to wear correct footwear for the occasion for you to enjoy your trip because we're going there for vibes and fun we don't want to get hard okay then the next thing is makeup you want to have your makeup these are my makeup brushes and in case anybody wants to get me a makeup bag Christmas like Christmas gift ideas okay maybe not Christmas oh Easter is gone too okay maybe Christmas gift ideas we might need a, a makeup bag so a makeup bag and I have a tiny mini shaver in there because sometimes the waxing ladies leave that tiny hair picking out and it's not cute you want to be able to pluck that out okay <laughs> then this is for this is for like facials and stuff because people let themselves go when they're on vacations i don't get that makeup wipes and sleeping is not the way to go people do i do it sometimes too yes i do but is it recommended probably not so nowadays i'm 
working on myself on a day-to-day -day basis to stop the habit of not doing a proper facial routine because what's the point of going on vacation if you're gonna come back with breakouts especially for me since i really travel very frequently so if i keep making excuses because i'm on a trip i can't take care of my face eventually it's gonna the, the results are gonna be ugly so you just always want to have yourself covered in the face face stuff and oils and all that i cannot recommend specific oils but what you use at home basically put it in travel size if you're not carrying a, a check-in bag but my point is you need something for your face when you're traveling the second thing is body batteries especially if you're trying to glow in pictures i mean you need body butter every day but if you're trying to glow in pictures if you add this it brings extra that extra shimmer and extra glow that everybody needs and again i'm going to the beach so obviously some sunscreen and i like this one because it kind of gives the body that shine it's not like the other sunscreens that make the body look very like chalky if that makes sense this one is like very shiny i don't know if you can tell the difference from the video but like it's giving more like sun-kissed vibes than the than the ones that are chalky and then what else of course your undergarments you need your undergarments people then what else what else what else what else for some reason i don't know if it's the african in me or whatever i usually have to have a plastic bag i usually have to have a plastic bag this is for like wet stuff you know wet suits you don't want to put wet swimsuits in here maybe you can carry a ziploc bag as well but for me i usually need to have a plastic bag for the purposes of like dirty stuff dirty soiled undergarments wet stuff it usually really comes in handy and I might get a lot of like controversy with this one, but I'm gonna say it anyways. You need to carry your own towels. Yes, hotel rooms have towels, but you know what goes down in hotel rooms. We're all not young here. I mean, we're not 10, so my audience is like old enough to know what I'm talking about. Hotel room towels are not the best. Who's texting me? <laughs> Hotel room towels are not the best. I do not recommend you to use them on your sensitive parts of the body. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I mean, you can use them on like a basic kind of way, like maybe just swiping water from the pool, whatever. But like when you're going down there with like intimate areas, you need a fresh towel that you trust that you washed by yourself because no matter how much chemicals they use, that's it does not take away the fact that a lot of people have used those things so let's just let's just do our bodies some favors and they will thank us from all the infections and all the skunk that we carry around okay then this is like for the face and this is like my sh my my showering towel so that's the that's that, that's that's all i have for accessories i hope i made sense and in case i left anything out I will point it down below and I think I'm gonna have to cut this video out as well because I was thinking of talking about carry-on accessories too but I feel like the video is gonna be way too long to have carry-on accessories in case it's not I will include the carry-on accessories in the same videos but if it but if not I'll have to film another part for the carry-on part of the accessories thank you have a good day. I will see you again next week for another video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. Let me know in the comments below how you feel. And yeah, vibes. <laughs>